Hey Paul, you got some trivia for us. And now that we got a microphone, people can hear us. <laughs> okay, before, as I said when I didn't realize we didn't have a microphone, uh, we did a non-movie related uh, conversation before, a trivia before. Yes. It was about games. Sure. Okay. This one is going to be non-movie related. Was I here for that one? No, you weren't. Yes, you were. Yes, you Had were. to be. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been a very <laughs> one-sided trivia if it's just me. I just don't remember it. <laughs> okay, so this one, because a lot of our viewers are from your other channel, they do cruising, mm -hmm. they're a little older. Okay. So we're going to go back to 80s music. <laughs> Okay. Now, Mark does have a distinct advantage. He's a DJ! <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be as easy for him as you think. Well, you know me and music. I, I can know the song, but don't remember who sings it, who does it, anything like and that. And that's so. a lot for me, too. I, that's, yeah. So. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. We know how it's going to go. <laughs> okay, Life is a Highway. Tom Popular Cochran. song, right? Tom Cochran was recorded by Canadian singer-songwriter Tom Cochran. Rascal Flatts covered the song for which film? Oh, it was in a film. From the 80s? Or later? No, Rascal Flatts. That would be... Re-recorded it in, in like... 2006. Post-2000, yeah. Hmm... For what movie? Write your answer because... I don't think I'm right, but I'm going to take a guess. We'll make this for two points. <laughs> and then I'll give a hint. Okay. What did you try? I put Footloose Remake. I put Vacation. Okay, they're both wrong. There's okay. a surprise. Here's the hint. It's an animated film. Minions. I have cars. It's cars. Ah, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Point for Dawn. Put it down. It might be the only one I get. Okay, this might be the easiest one here. Kim Mitchell, a long-haired Canadian rocker who previously sang with the Max Webster band, said we might as well do this. I gotta go through the whole song in my head? No, you don't. There's only one lyric that everybody knows. <laughs> well, I can't even think of the song and I know who it is. I even saw him in concert at my high school. We might as well do this. Can't even think of the song, so I... The song is Patio Lanterns, right? No. no it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I shouldn't have answered that. But that was okay. Yes. No, yeah, uh, I don't know. Okay, you might as well go for a soda. Go for a soda. Go for a soda. Might as well go for a soda. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Nobody cares. Okay, this lover boy song. Glad that was the easiest question. <laughs> this lover boy song starts with a cowbell and leads into one of the most universal and enduring rock choruses of all time, claiming that everybody is working for what? The weekend. Weekend. Okay. She was born Eileen Regina Edwards, but changed her name and became one of the top-selling country music stars of all time. Shania? Shania. So I guess this is 80s and 90s. It's the only female country singer I could think of. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at the top selling country albums of all time, and she has like two or three in the top ten. And yeah. Garth Brooks has like four or five. And if you're top, talking female, she has number one. Mm -hmm. In 1987, Whitney Houston wanted to dance with somebody. Who? Now, this could be two things. No, I got it. Is it from the song, or is it the person in the movie? It's the song. Okay. Somebody loves me. Somebody loves me. 
Actually, it's somebody who loves me, and you have someone who loves me. But you need the extra syllable. So Nice try. In 1973, the year I was born, he sang the hit, Let's Get It On. Nine years later, he came back with another one, Sexual Healing. Then he was shot by his father. <laughs> <laughs> who was the singer? I can only get Maximilian in my head. I'm it's stuck with his name, too. <laughs> oh, I'm going to kick myself in the butt. I don't know if I'm right or not. I can't think of his name. I got Barry White. No. No. Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye! Gaye. Gaye. Ah, yes! I just told you I'm bad with names. Know the songs very well. Just to, um. I just felt that low voice. Yeah. Mm. Okay, this is number 8 of 10. An 80s female singer sang the iconic slow dance song Time After Time in 1983, but she had an even bigger song the same year. A point for the singer, a point for the song. Like you say those words in your head and a tune isn't coming to you? That tune. <laughs> okay. I don't know song names. I told you that. Um, I think this is it. Nope, no idea. Cindy Lauper, girls just want to have fun? Yes. <laughs> Tommy used to work on the docks. According to what band in what song? <laughs> I thought you were big into old time music. Not the names. I can hum the words. Bon Jovi, living on a prayer. Yeah. According to the number of weeks on the Billboard Hot 100 chart, this was Michael Jackson's top performing song. I'm guessing. Because he had so many banners. Mm -hmm. I put Billie Jean. Me too. It's Billie Jean. Okay, so a little bit of trivia for you. Uh, Billy Jean and Beat It were both 25 weeks on the on the chart, but Billy Jean had seven weeks as number one, and Beat It had three weeks as number one. Okay, this is the one I skipped. This singer's 1987 hit stayed five weeks at the top of the UK charts. Then, in 2007, the song was everywhere again as unwary internet users clicked links that brought them to this musician's music video. You, you only want... Yeah, name of the... Uh... Name of the artist. I said Elvis. Rick Astley. Rick Astley. <laughs> Never gonna give you up to Rick Roll. I don't know how you didn't get that one. Because Elvis had a big comeback with the um, song that came out from the movie and all of a sudden it went on. What was it? Um, little little Understood? What is it? Little Less Conversation. Yeah. It was a big comeback. That's the first song that came to my head is one that came back on the internet. Really? Yeah. How come I didn't know about this? Because you're not very smart. Yeah. Because, uh, what was it, JXL came out or something like you that? You didn't know it because you weren't looking it up for trivia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's one of your trivia questions then. <laughs> okay, so I guess Mark crushed you. So. Well, it's a music thing. Of course he was going to crush me. Well, yeah, but I had I done 70s off, music, you would have done... No. <clears throat> music, I can think of the words. I cannot think of names of bands. I get bands confused all the time. Up until, like, question eight, we were fairly, like, we were Yeah, it's because you missed. Not because I was getting them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How did you guys do? I'm just terrible with music. I'm not a, I listen to talk radio. I don't listen to music. I also listen for, to talk radio. For 40 years. But in the 80s and 90s, you must have listened to music. I, in, when I grew up as a teenager, I had four albums. That was it. Two of them were Boston. Lame. I'm so glad they're building a house next to you. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> At, what, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. on a Saturday. Yep. And it, the best part is, they put all the aluminum siding on the house. 
figured out they made a mistake, took it all off, and is starting all over again. <laughs> That's awesome. The price of the house just went way up. Yep. <laughs>